Greetings, fellow Next Step members and Toastmasters. We had an excellent seminar just recently featuring Jim Griffin on how to give better speech evaluations. I actually have known Jim for quite a few years. I joined the Toastmasters in Santa Cruz. It was the first Toastmaster club I ever went to. I was really impressed with Jim and his speaking skills. It's great to have a chance to see him years later and to still learn a lot of tips and pointers from Jim. So for those of you who attended, I took some notes. And for those of you who didn't attend, I thought I'd fill you in on what you missed. And for those who did attend, I thought I'd give a little refresher course on the notes that I took during Jim's presentation on how to eval give better evaluations. So basically, you want to try to motivate the speaker. You want to look for the talent that they have within. You can evaluate because you're part of the audience. That was a real key point that I learned, was when Jim said, we're not teachers, we're tutors. The difference between a teacher and a tutor, we're up there giving feedback because we're part of the audience, and we sit in the audience, we listen to what the speaker has, and we're just sharing with them what we learned. We're a tutor. We're learning together with them. So again, we're not teachers. We're not know-it-all people. We don't know all the techniques. We're just sharing some of the things that we heard from them, and we're learning together with them. Be a tutor, not a teacher. So you, better listening, better evaluations come from better listening, better feedback. Better listening equals better feedback. Being aware, and that, that was really interesting. I mean, he wants you to create a state where you're really aware of your surroundings and then be aware of, of, of the evaluation or be better listening, paying more attention so you give a better evaluation. The three areas were really on a superficial level. How does the speaker use the stage? What's the mechanics of it? The next level I had was what's underneath the words? And for that, I wrote a little extra note. You, you really want to know what, what's the speaker trying to reach? What's the message they're trying to, to deliver to you? And when during your evaluation, reflect that back. The third message I got was what did I experience as, as a listener? If I started to laugh, well, make a note of that, that he felt noted that you start to laugh, or if you felt some emotions, go ahead and just make a mental note of those and during your evaluation. Let the speaker know what emotions and what feelings you had during their presentation. You don't make a judgment, even if you don't like the speech, don't make a judgment. You're there just to reflect and to let them know what you heard, what message, what you saw, what you heard, and what you felt. Again, instead of giving a sandwich, the way Jim phrased it, is start with something uplifting. What was the message and what was the takeaway? What was something that could be changed in the speech so that you could have understood it even more? And again, what were some key strengths and things that the speaker has that you noticed? And what are the natural speaking abilities and the talents and the strengths that really came across well? For me, I thought understanding what you saw, heard, and felt, that's really a key, and I'm going to try to employ those to help get better evaluations in the future. I hope to see more members attending next up. Great club. Excellent educationals, and for those of you who have missed it, please be sure to get back and attend during the next meeting. Those of you who made it there, great to see you, and please feel free to share your notes and takeaways with the other Next Step members. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day. Bye.